The aviation world is reeling from news out of Ukraine, the revival of an aviation masterpiece, the Antonov in 225, still the largest aircraft ever built. Affectionately known by Ukrainians as Maria, which means the dream, the An-225 was heavily damaged in the early days of Russia's invasion, leading many to believe that its dream of flying again had come to a tragic end. But now, its unexpected return is sparking a renewed sense of hope. Why is it coming back now? And how might this reshape the future of aviation? Let's find out. An unexpected turning point has emerged from Ukraine stunning the global community. Amid the ravages of war, Antonov has announced an ambitious project. The reconstruction of the N-225 Maria, the largest aircraft in the world, and this time, it will be as grand as the original. According to the company, the project will incorporate the original airframe, engines, and undamaged components salvaged after the aircraft was destroyed. But this is not merely about reassembling what was lost. It will be an upgraded version, blending cutting-edge technology with unyielding spirit to create a new symbol in the midst of conflict. In these dark times, Maria's return becomes a beacon of hope, a powerful reminder that even dreams can rise again from the ashes. Before looking to the N-225's future, one must revisit its origins to understand its deep significance. Born at the height of the Cold War, this aircraft symbolized the Soviet Union's technological prowess and ambition to conquer space. In the 1980s, the Antonov Design Bureau in Kiev built this colossal aircraft to serve the Buran space program, Moscow's answer to NASA, by transporting shuttles and massive components. Maria was never just a machine. It was proof that the impossible could be engineered into reality. The moment news of Maria's revival was announced, global social media lit up. In Ukraine, it triggered a wave of national pride, not just because an aircraft was returning, but because a piece of the country's soul was being reborn. Amid hardship and destruction, the image of Maria soaring once more carries a message of resilience, defiance, and belief. The international aviation community also reacted with great excitement. From engineers and industry leaders to aviation fans around the world, everyone is watching with anticipation. Online platforms are alive with tributes, passionate discussions, and high hopes for the N-225's second flight into history. Why is the world so captivated by the return of this colossal aircraft? But hold on a second, we're glad you're still here. If you're as passionate about aviation as we are, let's make this journey unforgettable together. Hit that like button, share the excitement, and subscribe. Let's build an incredible adventure side by side. A massive thanks to you. Because the Antonov N-225 isn't just a plane, it's an engineering marvel, a symbol of boundless ambition, and for many, a cherished legend that once ruled the skies. Dubbed the largest aircraft ever built, it could carry over 250 tons of cargo, more than any other plane in history. Stretching 84 meters long with a wingspan of 88.4 meters, it wasn't just massive, it was unmatched. Powered by six turbojet engines and supported by a 32-wheel landing gear system, this giant didn't just fly. Maria conquered gravity with elegance and might. What made it truly extraordinary was its ability to carry oversized loads both inside and atop its fuselage, something not even NASA's shuttle carriers could accomplish. The aircraft's reinforced structure and finely tuned aerodynamics allowed it to bear extraordinary weight with surprising grace. Its complex landing gear, a masterpiece of engineering in itself, ensured the pressure of its immense mass was evenly distributed. When it took to the skies for the first time in 1988, crowds gathered in awe. The Maria didn't just fly, it stunned. It became an instant icon of Soviet aerospace excellence, a flying symbol of Cold War ingenuity. But after the fall of the Soviet Union, the aircraft's future became uncertain. Operating costs were staggering, and its original mission no longer existed. For years, many feared it would become nothing more than a museum piece, but the An-225 refused to be forgotten. Under Antonov Airlines, it was reborn, not as a relic of the past, but as a powerhouse of global logistics. It transported generators, wind turbine blades, locomotives, and cargo so oversized that no other aircraft could even dream of lifting. Each mission reminded the world that this Cold War behemoth still had purpose in the 21st century. That's why its return matters. The Maria is more than just metal and machinery. It's memory, might, and miracle in motion. And now, as Ukraine works to rebuild it, the world watches with the same wonder it felt in 1988, only this time with a deeper sense of hope and defiance. 
Not only was the Antonov in 225 the world's largest aircraft, it was also its most capable. With a cargo hold stretching 43 meters long, 6.4 meters high, and 4.4 meters wide, it could transport industrial-scale equipment that defied conventional limits. Massive power plant turbines, full-sized locomotives, oversized construction machinery, and cargo that simply couldn't fit inside any other aircraft. Around the globe, entire industries relied on the Maria as the only viable option to move essential outsized freight. Where standard logistics failed, the Maria ate. But the plane's mission didn't stop at industry. In moments of global crisis, the N-225 took on a more humanitarian role, flying into disaster zones to deliver emergency aid. From earthquake and tsunami relief to COVID-19 support missions, it became a lifeline in the sky. During the pandemic, the aircraft was used to transport critical medical equipment and personal protective gear to countries in urgent need. The image of this colossal plane arriving with hope became a powerful reminder of aviation's role in serving society, not just commerce. Its feats were not only noble, but historic. Between 2004 and 2008, the Maria set world records that still stand, including hauling a staggering 247 tons of cargo in a single flight. Wherever it landed, it drew crowds. People gathered at airports just to witness this flying legend in motion. Spotters, photographers, families, and aviation lovers all turned out to see a piece of engineering history come to life before their eyes. Yet this aircraft wasn't just a technical marvel, it was a symbol of national identity and soft power. It represented Ukraine's engineering excellence, its ability to innovate and collaborate on a global stage. Every flight to politically sensitive destinations became an act of quiet diplomacy, projecting Ukraine's presence, pride, and potential without saying a word. The aircraft was a flying ambassador wrapped in titanium skin. Of course, maintaining a behemoth like the An-225 came at an enormous cost. Its sheer size and unique design demanded intricate upkeep, specialized parts, and a highly trained support crew. But even with its hefty operating expenses, no aircraft could replicate its capabilities or command its stature. It wasn't just a tool, it was proof of what human ingenuity could achieve. For engineers, aviators, and dreamers alike, it was more than a machine. It was a symbol of innovation, resilience, and imagination. Its story lived on through documentaries, books, and articles, an industrial age legend that still managed to inspire in an era of rapid technological change. Then came February 20th, 22. The world watched in disbelief as the An-225 fell victim to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. During fierce fighting at Hostomel Airport near Kyiv, the aircraft was destroyed. Its mighty wings shattered, its fuselage charred and broken amidst the rubble. What was lost was far more than an aircraft, it was the loss of a national treasure, a dream, a spirit. The wreckage marked not just the destruction of an engineering icon, but a deep wound to the heart of Ukraine, a country still fighting to hold on to its identity, hope, and future. So, how will this legend rise again? The task ahead is monumental. According to a spokesperson from Antonov, speaking before a captivated global audience, the total cost of bringing the An-225 back to life is projected to exceed $500 million. This staggering figure highlights not only the technical difficulty, but also the ambition behind the project. The funding will come from a three-pronged approach. Support from the Ukrainian government, investments from private sector backers, and contributions from international organizations. The announcement has already stirred excitement across the globe, with aviation enthusiasts, industry veterans, and institutions expressing a strong desire to contribute. For many, the dream of seeing Maria soar once more has transcended borders and become a cause worth rallying behind. But rebuilding the Maria is far more than just a matter of money and spare parts. It requires deep expertise, engineering artistry, and a profound understanding of the aircraft's unique design. A team of experienced Antonov engineers is currently assessing which components from the original aircraft can be salvaged. Encouragingly, the tail section, parts of the landing gear, and several engines remain intact. The most severely damaged area, the fuselage, will need to be reconstructed from scratch, though a partially unburned segment of the original body may be incorporated into the new frame. Every step of the reconstruction process is being planned with precision weighing the opportunities and challenges of integrating cutting-edge technologies with historic legacy. And this won't be just a replica of the past. 
The Revived in 225 will be a reimagined version of its predecessor, lighter, smarter, and more efficient. It's expected to feature next-generation avionics, improved fuel systems, and engines that deliver greater performance with reduced environmental impact. These upgrades aim to make the aircraft not only more economical to operate, but also more aligned with modern aviation demands. Crucially, these improvements are being pursued with a clear goal – to enhance the aircraft's capabilities without straining the company's resources or sacrificing its identity. Notably, one of the most exciting aspects of the project lies in its potential to pioneer sustainability in heavy lift aviation. With the industry under increasing pressure to reduce its environmental footprint, the rebuilt Maria could become a symbol of green innovation. Whether through alternative fuels, new aerodynamic enhancements, or advanced lightweight composites, this aircraft could help pave the way for a more responsible and forward-looking aviation future. Momentum is building. Since Antonov's announcement, the project has attracted wide interest from aerospace companies, research institutions, and public sector partners eager to collaborate. Governments from around the world have expressed their willingness to contribute, either by supplying materials or by offering access to the latest aerospace technologies. At its heart, the rebirth of this legend is quickly evolving into a global mission, one that transcends borders and political interests to unite experts, engineers, and dreamers under a shared vision of progress and hope. For Ukraine, the resurrection of the N-225 holds a deeply personal significance. Beyond its technical and economic value, this project embodies a spirit of unwavering resilience in the face of adversity. The N-225 has never been just an aircraft. It is a symbol of endurance, determination, and the unyielding spirit of those who dare to dream big. The announcement of Maria's return has sparked a renewed sense of hope not only for the people of Ukraine, but for the entire world. For many, the return of this iconic aircraft is seen as a beacon of promise, a symbol of brighter days ahead. What are your thoughts on this incredible revival? How do you think the aviation industry will be transformed when Maria finally takes flight again? We'd love to hear your opinions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated. Thank you for joining us, and see you next time.